Hello there everybody, welcome back for some more Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and now we are going to continue off through Hayabusa Village and get the hell out of here. Of course, we're probably going to fight some more fucking dogs, uh, saw that coming, of course. Oh, god damn it! In the last episode, we got this little, like, dragon's eye thing or whatever it was called to be able to have a better fucking dragon sword make the legit real dragon sword. So we're going to have that for the rest of the game, fortunately, so that's nice to have. God, stop! Guys, fuck me. Okay, is he still on me? Yes, apparently he was. Oh no. Oh no. God damn it. You know what? Oh damn. Triple flying swallow on this bitch. I don't know if that just comes with. That probably comes with the real dragon sword, not just the fully up, like fully upgraded dragon sword itself. I mean, yeah, of course it's both, but you know, like whenever I upgraded it fully, it was like two, and that's it. But now it's like three, so that's fucking awesome. Uh, nothing up there. Okay, continuing on. Apparently this may or may not have to be my last one for today. I don't want to make my last one if fucking Elgato wants to keep pissing me off like this. Oh shit! Well, I guess that's not the last of these two dicks. Apparently they haven't they haven't had enough of fucking Momoji yet. So instead they want to go ahead and beat me up. Well, they're gonna realize one thing: I'm a lot more fucking stronger than I was earlier, and plus I'm not Momoji. Oh, ow! All right, you dick bags want to play? We'll fucking play. I will fucking. You know what? Just. Just to make matters worse, I would use probably one weapon that I don't like using too much of, just to kick their asses with. Oh, fuck it. You know, level 2 this. I, hell, I might as well just use a level fucking 1. But I think everything is level 2. Oh yeah, look at that. Dragon Sword is level 4. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I'll use my fucking Tompas, level 1, to whip your asses. Just to prove how fucking retardedly easy you dickbags really are. Look at this. This is fucking retarded. Look how much fucking ass I'm whooping. Thing is, I don't think you get, like, any damage upgrades. You know, whenever you upgrade your weapon or not. Whenever you level up, I mean. It's just, you get, like, new techniques and what have you. Damage, maybe. Maybe. I, I assume so. I would hope so. That'd be pretty stupid. Thing is, I'm still gonna have to use grains anyway. I'm pretty sure that would've happened. I still would've used Nimpo no matter what I would've done. But that takes out one guy. So, fuck him. I get some health back from that. Yeah, like I said, like... Fucking, these guys are pathetic. Like, I don't know why they decided to come back... Uh, come back over here and fight me instead. When, you know, they got their asses whipped by Momoji, which is already proof enough that the fucking dragon ninjas are not to be fucked with, but apparently they didn't learn their lesson the first fucking time. And I guess he's out. Maybe. Is he gone? Yes, he's gone. Okay, well, what a waste of my fucking time. Okay, so I wonder if they were a secret boss or not. I'm just gonna say no. I mean, that would be stupid if they were, to be honest. Okay, so. Then we're gonna head through that way, but unfortunately that way is blocked off, so we gotta go through this. Once again, backtracking 101. Okay, there we go. And freeze frame. Here we go. Fortunately for me, this game doesn't freeze frame as much, or doesn't freeze as much as fucking Borderlands does, which is crazy because I have that freaking. I have a digital version of that game, and it fucking still freezes for some strange reason. Like, you play for too long, and eventually the game just stops. Like, the developers are like, yeah, stop playing. But I don't think so, okay? I will play as much as I goddamn feel like it, alright? Oh, this reminds me of, like, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 1, which of course, you know, Hayabusa Village is in Sigma 1. It's just, you don't get any further past... Well, you do a little bit, but actually, yeah, yeah you do. Yeah, that little arena out there... Well, the one where I fought those two bird dicks is as far as you can go in the first one. And that's when you fight Doku, or whatever his fucking name was. Doki? Doki, Doki Panic? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Get on your knees and suck this dick, boy. Wiped your ass. Straight on the floor. Can't come back for any more. Okay, now they completely destroyed this area. That's no surprise. I mean, given the fact that they're fucking really trying to kick our asses over here. I should probably switch out for the Phoenix, because that's probably not going to help me too much, to be honest. I might as well use it. It's weird. Like, I got grabbed right there. So I guess like as soon as you get grabbed, that's when you can you can use stuff. But whenever you're getting hit, you can't use it. So whenever like you're grabbed and they're throwing you around, that's when you can't use it. Ow! All right, all right. We'll play like that. We'll play like that. Hold on. Let me switch something real quick because you're not giving me the time to do it. I'm gonna switch to the Arts in the Inferno. That way, I can blow these guys down and get them out of the way. Come on, let's go. I, I equipped it. Let's leave this fucking map thing. Boom! Chakalaka. That didn't do shit. 
No surprise. I'm about to just whip out my goddamn fucking Eclipse Scythe. That's what we're about to fucking do. We're about to show them what the real power of the real Dragon Sword is. Because that fucking Dragon Sword I got now ain't no fucking Dragon Sword. Okay, yeah, it's a real Dragon Sword. So a four, I know. It's the toughest thing I got in my, my fucking equipment here, but... You're about to find out when you fuck with me. You fuck with the wrong person. Oh, shit, duh. Yeah, that's right. Get on the ground, bitch. And he's gone. That takes care of this first dick. Yeah, the thing is, like, I think they are just as strong, or maybe even a little bit weaker than they their actual boss counterparts are. Hopefully they are. Come on, just grab him, Ryu. Shit. There we go. That's right. Takes care of both of them. And there's another one. Oh, fantastic. Let's burn his ass. Burn his ass alive. You really want to... You really don't want to do that, partner. Like, you really seriously don't want to be doing this to me. I got plenty of money to go buy more fucking herbs and shit, so you're kind of fucking with the wrong guy. alley -oop! Oh. Ooh, nice backflip there, ninja bitch. Alright, there we go. Come on. Come on. There we are. And... I'm spent. Well. I sure as fuck hope so. Oh, I guess we get to go in here now. We get to open a chest and we get some fucking nice shops, so... All that stuff I just wasted, I can actually finally get back. Fortunately, and they also give us some fucking health. Thank God for that. Oh. And boom, check a look at it. He's down and out for the count. Alright. That takes care of all them. Now let's go ahead and buy some shit, because I already wasted all this dumb stuff. You know what, actually, before I do that... I'm going to use my double mushroom, so I have, you know, the max limit of that for Nimpo. Because I, I got the money, guys. I'm fucking rich. I'm rolling in the dough over here. I can buy all this shit no matter what. Fuck, I can buy, what, three, maybe four of those ma uh, those goddamn revival things if they're 21,000? I'd say, like, probably, like, two or three, maybe. Because, like, if you do the math, kind of. What am I supposed to be? Oh, wait, the ladder. So where the fuck am I going? Well, apparently we're going up the ladder then. Let's go to Ayani's room. Well, this is where we saw her at, wasn't it? No, that, that was the first one. Fuck. Yeah, I've been playing the first one again, just so I can play hard mode. It's just literally called hard mode. In this game, it's like Path of the Warrior and Path of the Mentor. And that's not there anymore. It's just now a chest. Oh, god damn it. Why is it Nimpo? Just right after I just bought more fucking Nimpo. God damn it. Okay, so let's see. Anything in there? No. Where's that goddamn head? The head's usually over here. What the fuck? They desecrated the statue once again! Those fucking animals! Maybe it's... I don't know if you actually can find the head or not again. Hmm. I'm just gonna say... Probably no. What's this over here? Oh, come on! After I just bought all that shit... Wait, what's this? What the fuck did that get back there? Oh, well, guess what? That's the skull for me to take with me. Alright, kick fucking ass! You know, I had to play this game again on, like, easy mode. That way I can get the damn fucking trophy for it, if it even exists. If not easy mode, then I'll go back to normal mode. Because I don't know what that fucking trophy is underneath Path of the Warrior trophy. Which is probably, like, beat easy mode by itself. And I hate when games do that. Because it's like, I already beat the game on normal. So it's like, just let me go back and play it again. or not. Just let me fucking, you know, trophy stack, goddammit. Why is that hard for you fucking people to make nowadays? He's dead. He's gone. I, I saw him drop. He fucking dropped. He dropped like a sack of potatoes. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> got the drop on your dick. Yeah, you could probably tell by now I'm having a lot of fucking fun playing this game. It's a fun fucking game, guys. You gotta understand. Like, if you haven't played this game, you totally should. And at least give some respect to the originals. Because they seem to be definitely worth the respect. After all, they seem pretty fucking hard to me. Which, you know, I would love to try to play, but... Hoo-wee. That might take some time. I'd have to go and emulate it or anything. Which is something I really don't want to do, but... You know. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? I guess. The thing is, like, you can go buy, like, the NES Mini. I think it comes with the first Ninja Gaiden. Only problem is, Walmart's selling them for $500. Which I highly recommend you do not buy, guys. Just don't do it. Don't fall off the trap. Just let them... Just wait till they, you know, start making more. And then eventually they'll drop back down to 30 It will come back, I promise. Okay, maybe I shouldn't promise that. Because I don't know a Nintendo. That's probably a bad idea. <laughs> they probably fuck something up. Is there anything in there at all? Probably not. Might have been a skull, if anything. 
Yeah, usually if there's like nothing in there, it's probably because there was a skull in there. But hey, at least I helped you guys find one, maybe two skulls throughout this entire playthrough, right? So I think I could have sworn I found one earlier than this. Oh well, and I did tell you guys where one was. Or two, I think. Fuck if I remember. Ow, god, di stop! Okay, I get it, I get it, you guys are mad, I understand. Okay, look, I completely agree that you should all die. Yeah. Thing is, like, I can't wait to get to, like, it, it always happens whenever I play games that I really enjoy franchises of. Like Crash Bandicoot, for example, it's like, I can't wait to get to, you know, do this or this again. Or, you know, even go back and actually finally 100% fucking Crash Bandicoot 1 on this channel. That would be great. And then, like, with Ninja Gaiden, it's like, man, I couldn't wait to get to, like, Ninja Gaiden 2. And then now it's like, man, I can't wait to get to Ninja Gaiden 3. Kingdom Hearts was like, man, I can't wait to get to Kingdom Hearts 2. And then 3. Thing is, if I actually really, really, really wanted to do it, just to be a giant asshole, I could just play just the main series of Kingdom Hearts, and that's it. Nothing else. I could easily just play Kingdom Hearts 2, and then when Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out, whenever I beat it fully, then I go back and play Kingdom Hearts 3 and just say, fuck the rest of the stuff. But then again, people are probably going to get pissed off and be like, well, what the fuck's the other, the, the other things? I also could be another massive dickhead and just play Kingdom Hearts, you know, recoded and all that just by the movies and just have you guys watch that shit instead of me actually playing the actual games. But you could say, like, that's not very fair. I mean, you know, because we want to know what goes on. Well, I can't fucking play Kingdom Hearts X and fucking record the entire damn thing, so. I, you know, I guess there are probably situations that I might just do that. That's how they, that's how they gave me the game. That's how I'm going to fucking play it, alright? Uh, do we? Yeah, we go up there. So let's go down here first. Because I know that, like, this was, like, an area you fall down in in the first one. And, yeah, I know I keep talking about the first one, but we're going right back to fucking Hayabusa Village. So it's pretty clear to me that this is exactly the same damn thing. What I also like about this game is, like, whenever you collect all the life of the gods you need, you eventually do get life with a thousand gods, and you don't actually have to put those in yourself. But unfortunately, it feels like to me, of course, like I said earlier, when I first got my first full set of life of the gods, is there more likely will be more, and what do you know there is? It's just, I'm pretty sure I'm probably missing a lot. I feel like I'm honestly missing a lot of stuff. We have a huge fucking health bar, though. In comparison to what we had earlier, like, hell yeah, this is fucking ginormous. And we're only, like, what, 16, 17 parts in right now? Alright, jump down here. And let's see, where to go next? Well, they want us to go that way. So we're gonna go, we're gonna see if I, oh, that's blocked off, never mind. They fixed that. Wow. My thing is, like, why even... I don't even know why we even did that in the first one, to be honest. That whole fight just seemed completely pathetic and useless. Oh, hey. Kick ass. Another nipple slot. I've been wanting those. Remember, I thought it was a jewel of the demon seal, but no, it's just a... Uh, or demon spirit or whatever I think it was. The one where you can upgrade Nimpo and what have you. That's what I thought it was for a second. Hey, he's dead. He lost his fucking head. He's gone. Yeah, let's see. What, what do you got, sir? Grains? You know what? Just for the fuck of it, just so I don't... Just so I have the maximum health. And then I can just take off and just, you know, not have my OCD kick in and try to kill me. Let's go ahead and take it. That's right. Maximum spider. Oh, come on. There we go. That's right, guys. Maximum spider. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. You guys are getting wrecked. You get a shit handed to you on a silver platter. Ooh! I <laughs> love that fucking move. And slice and dice all gone. Okay. Uh, we're supposed to go that way. That thing, I think, drops us back down to... Let's go find out. No, this drops us back down to the beginning. I wonder if I can go actually all the way back there. Well, what do you know? What are you... What are you buying? <laughs> Found a life of the gods. Okay, let's go back to the very beginning and see if there's actually anything down here. That would be fucking tight. Now there's enemies. That's good. The other good thing is, is about this game, too, is they don't have that stupid bullshit fucking karma ranking shit. I hated that in the first one. And at least they, they bring it back in the third one, but they make it actually just, you know, points that you can use to upgrade weapons. I love the upgrade system in that one, too. I like the upgrade system in this, you know, because it makes you feel like, you know, it's like, hey, you have the opportunity to upgrade, so go and do it. It's like, okay, sweet. You know, they don't make you feel like overpowered or underleveled by any means. They give you, like, distinctive, you know, areas to actually upgrade, which is nice. I feel like. Some people might not like that. I personally do. Oh, it's, oh. Bam. Dead. GG to be fucking P, bitch. Okay, um... Is there anything in here? 
Or is this where we came from earlier? Probably. Well, they... Well, no, we have to go back that way. But I, I figured... I don't want to go up there and see if there's anything up there or not, because there might not be anything up there. I'm just going to assume, just for the fact of assuming it, probably not. There's probably nothing up there. Oh, can't go up there then. Alright. Well, there we go. We got that problem solved. Now let's go up this way and head back. I actually don't remember ever heading back this way, though, to be honest. When I played but when I played this game the first time, I don't remember actually coming back here. Well, what do you know? When you actually do things, that you know, when you actually go out of your way to do things, you are rewarded. That's awfully nice. Speaking of doing things that you probably get rewarded for going out of your way for. I should probably start playing Skyrim, shouldn't I? If my brother gave me his copy of Skyrim, because he's getting a PS4 version. And I have not touched it yet. <laughs> so... I mean, I have, like, other things I want to play as well, but at the same time, it's like, maybe I should actually put that in and try to play it. I have only played it once, and that was at my stepbrother's house. Or with my stepbrother, I should say. Not his house, but... No... Yeah, I could have sworn I did it in his house. I remember that was the time when I brought up a brink, and we were just like, Yep, this game fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Thank you. Save the game. And away we go. Now, my fat ass... He's gonna move. It's gonna be on the move, and we're gonna get out of this fucking place. God damn, dude! The scythe kicks ass. See, like I said before, like I really do, honestly wish that obliteration techniques would just count towards your killing, because it makes sense to me. You're killing with the damn weapon. It should honestly count. Whoa! See, I wonder if how the fuck do you even do it? You know, it's the guillotine throw. I mean, so I think it's just like you just do this, and then you just. Jump over their heads and throw them. I, I threw some earlier, didn't I? Or is it just fucking, you know, only goddamn uh, dragon sword can do it or something like that? That would be pretty stupid. It makes sense, but I don't know. It's kind of just redundant, if you ask me. Oh! I'm getting my ass handed to me, boys. My white ninjas. This ain't good. This ain't good, boys. Oh, Rocco, stick it in my ass. Oh, yeah. Right in your butthole. Right in the poop chute. Ho, 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 ho. Muramasa. I sense the stirring of the Archfiend. It's a calamity, the likes of which I've never seen. But I'll never reach the top with these old legs of mine, so I've been waiting for you. I'm glad you made it. I'd expect nothing less from a dragon ninja. Long ago, your ancestors imprisoned the Archfiend deep within this mountain. Now, that job is up to you. Hmm. Here, take this. You'll need your strength. Hmm. Okay, so now we're going to continue on. I'm going to save it first. Muramasa just saved our asses again. Well, I think he saved my ass for the first time. But he did save... Who was it? Uh, Momoji? Yeah, it was Momoji. Yeah, those guys about to kill that one kid. And then fucking he just comes in and just wipes the fucking floor with them. Oh, great. Just what I wanted to play with. More fucking goddamn black mages. Perfect. Oh, great. Now my throat's starting to kind of fucking fill up again with semen, of course. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Stop fucking... <laughs> Guys, give me a chance. Like, this is not fair. Group hug. Jesus wants a hug. Yeah. That's right, bitch. Oh, who... Okay, that's it, mister. It's time out for you. Oh, yeah, he, that's it. He's not getting any dinner tonight. That's right. Did you fucking sit in your room and you think about 
what you did. And no fucking supper either. No supper for the next three days. You got that? There we go. They're all killed off. Just like Muramasa wanted me to do. And speaking of Muramasa, there's his fucking store right there. I wonder if there's anything back here. Probably not. <gasps> Wait, no, there is. And it's a grain of spiritual life. Wait, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? You know, I have no idea. I, I'm just gonna assume that's probably. You know, let's go and take a look. <laughs> I, I want to take a look before I fucking destroy anything. I believe it restores Ryu's health and heals all lasting damage. God damn. So I guess it's just a, a full throttle heal. Unlike the grains of salt, uh, grains of spiritual life and the herb, this one actually heals you like a shit ton. Because the grains themselves give you like a medium bit of health, and the herbs give you like a small bit of health, but this one fucking gives you like your full entire health bar back. Plus, of course, all lasting damage, which that comes with the you know that comes with the healing items anyway. So we get that. That's awesome. Fuck yeah. I don't need my strength right now, Muramasa. I'm pretty much fine. I'm pretty much good on my own. I got this. Maybe later when we fight another boss or something like that, we'll be fine. Okay. Time to chop, boys. Great, we're not doing that fucking... Th That's probably what fucking fucked up my throat right now, is that goddamn voice I do. I'm trying to do What's Her Nuts from Rocco's Modern Life. The fucking frog chick, but... <laughs> I have this weird, like, smoker's voice with it, too, because that's what she sounds like to me. Alright. Uh, ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. I've been, I've been saying that's like become like a habit of mine now. It's like I just say, oh yeah. It's, it's so fucking weird. I have no idea where that even came from. To be honest. Oh, oh, <laughs> that hurt. Stop it. I get it. You guys want to murder me? Oh, that's it. They fucking wasted my UT. They're going down. They're gonna pay. They're gonna pay really fucking hard. They're gonna pay so fucking hard. Ah. Uh, uh. Now that's how you fucking do a UT, folks. And just for countermeasures, one last little problem we have to take care of. And that might just be it, folks. Oh, then we get a little note here. Really no point in picking up. Uh, hopefully there's not a trophy for getting all the fucking notes. Oh, God, that would fucking suck. Well, to be honest, I would just go watch a video on how to do it anyway. But, you know me. It's like, I'd rather just fucking not... I don't know, like, I'd rather just spend... If I'm going to watch a video of how to collect something, I'm probably going to end up spending, like, the entire fucking weekend doing it. That's usually how that ends up. But this level is pretty kick-ass, though, because I, I love the way that we literally go to, like, a fucking Ninja War grave. And it's just... It's fucking tight. Like, look at all these damn swords all around, everywhere. Why is this particularly glowing? Huh. Oh, God. It had God of War res resolution on it. You know, fucking God of War 2 resolutions. This is disgusting. we got to get out of here now. I hate that shiny shit. It looks so horrible in God of War 2. I'm sorry, it did. They didn't do it in God of War 1, and then fucking God of War 2 became like super fucking shiny for some reason. Like everything was shiny as shit in that game. I, I honestly do not get why. To be perfectly honest with you folks, I don't understand why they would do, it. do that. Huh, uh. Okay, that's it. I've had enough of your bullshit. Eh, eh, eh. I could probably show off this piercing wind, but I really don't feel like it. You know why? Because I'm not a fucking cunt. Oh! That's because the fucking piercing wind sucks, guys. It really sucks ass. Also, pro tip with the Zuna drop. It's not always going to be the same thing as you think it will. It's not always the same command for every weapon. You know what? Speaking of which, I love the sight to death, but I might as well just do like another Zuna drop again, because I haven't done that for a while. Chop, 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 chop. Plus, I got a fucking level four, you know, dragon sword over here with like three flying swallows on it. Oh god, this is fucking awesome, dude. Just tearing ass. This is why I love this goddamn game for. It's just fucking awesome. Jesus, jumping Jehusafex Christ. And you just had to hit me, didn't you, you little bitch? Now this is what having fun is all about. Wait until we get to Kingdom Hearts 2. That's when we're gonna have a lot of fucking fun. Thing is, like, I I do want to do South Park, you know, Stick of Truth next, even though I am skipping on like the other games that came before it. Besides South Park Rally, I already did that, but I I always could go back and do it again. Unfortunately, it's not that I can't do them. It's just I really don't feel like it. I mean, Chef Slow Shacks does a mini game thing. South Park, the game, the first one is just mostly just like a first person shooter thing, and I don't know, like, to me, South Park, the Stick of Truth, kind of just goes into like a different. It feels like it goes into like a whole different era of these games. It's like with Ninja Gaiden. 
You know, it's like I'm doing Ninja. I did Ninja Gaiden Sigma One before I did you know the originals. It's just because they feel like they're a different part of the franchise. That you know, they're both unique in their own right, pretty much. I feel like, and they both should be replayed respectively. Of course. I mean, of course, people who you know enjoyed Ninja Gaiden back then would more than likely probably enjoy this now. I would hope so, at least. It's a fun fucking game, guys. You gotta try this out, seriously. If you've never gotten your hands on this game, you totally should. It's definitely worth it. I ain't lying. You could probably find this game pretty fucking cheap, though, too. And, it, yeah, it does come with trophies. But they're one of those kinds of trophies where it's just like, oh, you know. Do I really want to go through all that trouble of getting them? <laughs> oh, god damn it. This full of cool can kiss my fucking hairy fat ass. Eh, ooh! Almost got him, too. And he's almost dead. So he gets her fucking with a true dragon ninja. He gets fuck, boy! Okay, now where? That way? Alright. Let's head on out, folks. Nice big fucking blue orb right there. There should be a chest here somewhere. Or something. But this guy might have something on him. Yes, he does. He's got a life of the gods. I would have totally skipped out on that, too, to be honest. Luckily, I didn't skip out on that. That would have sucked ass. Okay, what's next? Eh, I don't see anything else. What's well, that? I don't see anything else. Well, yeah, it's that. That, and I just don't feel like going anywhere else. Fuck it. All right. Well, we got a chest up here anyway, so grab this. Continue on. Full health. Back to full health. Awesome. Hopefully, a safe spot will be coming up. So, you made it. Genshin. It erupts. Do you understand what this means? The Archfiend quickens. The tantrums of the Archfiend never concerned me. All paths before me are cruel and arduous. Our time has come! Blood shall spill, and you shall die! Dude, really wanting to find a volcano? What are you, fucking Albert Wesker? Okay, now we get to fight this guy, I think, for the last time, hopefully. If not, that's gonna suck ass. Fortunately for us, he's just as easy as he's always been, so he's not really too pathetic. I believe you can actually get an Azuna drop on him, but he's a lot harder, I believe. Thing is, I say that, but of course, I've been getting him knocked in the air a few times already. So it's not like he's... Yep, see? I, I keep fucking doing the fucking guillotine slam or whatever it's called. I think that's what it's called. Oh, ow, goddamn. What I love about this game, though, is you can do combos, you know, in air. Like, when you... Well, it has to be... You have to do it by starting the Azuna drop. You can't just, like, just naturally do it. Like God of War does. But, like, some games, like, they have... They make, they make it to where you have to have a fucking target to be able to even do anything in air in the first place. Like, if I'm correct, I think Kingdom Hearts does it as well. Oh, that would've been so tight that I would've killed him. That would've been fucking tight. Okay, so, folks, that's going to be the end of Ginshu, or whatever the fellow's name was. And now, Alexa's still alive, just like I said before. She's more likely still going to be running around. We're getting pretty damn close to beating, uh, to beating the game, so what am I going to do? I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get every weapon at least level 2. Just to be fair, because the Tafas, I feel like, probably deserve a little bit more respect. Because they're not bad weapons, and that looks pretty fucking cool, though. 
It's just I don't use them as much as I do anything else, obviously. I mean, there's that one particular weapon that, you know, seems to be pretty damn goddamn useful. These things here are a big pain in the ass. And, well, let's just say that's probably about it, because these guys take forever to either fucking kill or even try to get, like, an obliteration technique on, because they just... They seem to have, like, a lot of fucking armor that seems to protect a lot of their fucking limbs. Or it just feels like it's just harder just to chop them off for some reason. I always have, like, a problem killing these guys. And they do that dumbass freaking dive move there. Basically going fucking Dr. Doom on our asses and foot diving us. That's pretty much what they do. And it's just... It's obnoxious, but, you know, that's what this game is sometimes. It's just obnoxious, retardedly hard enemies. Sometimes. Not all the time, folks. Don't think I hate this game by any means. Oh, what a There we go. Finished him off. I finished this one off, too. They look like they might be feminine. They look like the feet. Yeah, because I, I... Yeah, they are. I see breasts. So, more than likely they are feminine. Eh, eh. Yeah, I know. Like, generally, these are, like, gender neutral kind of enemies. But, you know, a game like this, who cares, right? I'd still hit it. Hell, I'd still hit it. Uh, yeah, I know it's still continuing on just a little bit. But I'm trying to see if I can find a safe spot before we go too far, though. Uh, that might be a while before I get to a safe spot, so maybe I might just cut it pretty soon and continue on to, like, another part. Like I said, I would love to do another episode, don't get me wrong. It's just, like, for some reason, like, Elgato, like, right when I was gonna start, like, episode 17, which is this episode, pretty much, that's when Elgato was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and fuck up. I'm like, no, you're not. So it's like, I gotta get rid of some stuff, you know, kinda clear some room on my computer just in case. Because one little fuck up will destroy probably the entire fucking thing. Even though I could just reload the entire chapter and just do it like that. I saw something earlier. There it is. That's a double weight mushroom. Ah, uh, you know what? Just for the hell of it. Sure. Fuck it. And we'll go ahead and use one, wherever it is. Grab this one, because it's a freebie. I mean, hell. Hell, I'll take it. Hell, I'd still hit it. Bam! There we go. GG, W fucking B. Would you just drop? Hopefully that shuriken didn't count as like a shuriken kill. That would be retarded. Oh, there's the safe spot. Well, anyway, folks, without further ado, I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time when we play some more Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. And as always, take care, everybody.